At Ellis Brigham, we take ski testing really seriously, and this involves two different ski tests. The first one is done early in the season. Everything's put through its paces and compared, we make the decisions what we're going to stock. Later on in the season, we bring staff out to Austria. Here, the staff test all the skis that we've decided to go in the range. This means we can make sure we've made all the correct decisions, but it also means that when you come into any of our stores, the staff there can give you personal advice. They know exactly how the ski skis because they've been on them. So this ski is designed as an all-mountain freeride ski. It's 90 underfoot. It gives you a nice generous turn radius in somewhere in between GS and slalom. It means you can go around at full speed, but also get a nice nimble short turn if you need to. This ski is perfect for that advanced to expert skier that wants to go all over the mountain, spends about 70% of their time on piece but needs something that can nip the other side of the poles or cut through some free runs. It's got a tightener Y-beam construction. Now what that means is you get two forks out the front, that gives you direct energy transmission and control in the front. You also don't have a big dead spot from having a large metal, metal sheet on, on the top sheet. And out the tail, you have this tight on a Y-beam with a nice slim, uh, slim line piece of metal that allows you to release the tail and have a bit more of a playful exit. Basically, it means you can get all the grip and the power that you want, but it's not just dead and boring. It's a lot of fun to ski on. Um, feedback this week on the mine bend has been outstanding, both on the men's and the women's side. The new construction of the skis, the slight bit of rocker, the tighten the Y beam, they're all just working and uh, in the kind of varied snow conditions that we've got. Super icy in the morning through to slush in the afternoon, we're getting great feedback through all conditions. So the conditions of skiing the skiing today were pretty varied, uh, pretty much as varied as you can get. So we've got fresh chopped up snow. Um, we've got wiped out ice, we've got you know, snow that's just turned to slush and some of that has been wiped out as well. Um, it performed really well in all of those conditions. Um, it's got this sort of wide tightenal frame, so it kind of puts the titanium to the edge of the ski in the front, but it doesn't weigh it down. So it's springy, but it's really light, it's really playful, I really want to pop around. And then in the rear, it's just got a little strip down to the bottom. Um, which gives it that little kick, but it's not overwhelming and it's a little bit flared at the back. So it kind of feels like a freestyle ski, but it's got that power and it's got that grip when you're on the piste. So yeah, you can, you can, you can put your foot down and absolutely carve and have loads of fun. But then at any second, just put in a quick turn, pop offside the piste and yeah, really versatile. So I think I pretty much skied everything you could hope to expect to find in the season. Um, I think the person that would really be looking for the ski or that would really suit the ski is somebody who yeah, may be doing the season or is looking for a ski that will do pretty much absolutely everything um, but maybe with a more playful feel to it. Um, so if you're not looking for a tight ski that's just really firm and rigid and you've got to ski it really hard uh, to do anything with it but you still want that performance. Um, then this is this is really good. It, it's something that encourages you to try new things on the hill, you know, go new places.